Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Anka and I'm back with Russian Fishing 4 and we are back here at Balaya River. Actually, we're still here. And in the last episode, we were messing around with Ruffy and a few other small species of fish. But I wanted to check out to see if we're in this one location at the very end of this island. If we take a look at the map here. If you come all the way down to this little edge here and fish towards this part of the river, you used to be able to catch a lot of trout, especially if you use snares. It's a good part to do it, so hopefully I might have a little luck with that. Now, we also have some bottom rods. I might go ahead and throw them out. I'm not sure if they'll do any good, but it is worth a try. Let's see, what do I have on these? I've got natural red worms, and we got tiny hooks, so eh, we might do we might do all right. Let's see what we do here. Got a lot of lag for some reason. Yeah, I just recently installed an update, so things are probably going to go a little squirrely here. Yeah, we are getting a lot of lag for some reason. It's supposed to be getting 77 frames. I don't know what the deal is. But it just keeps freezing every now and then. Uh, yeah, and it goes down to like 20 frames. Yeah, we'll throw that out there too. Make sure I tighten that up. Forget you have to do that in this game. have on this one let's see yeah pretty much red worms we'll just see if there's anything close in here uh, primarily we're going to be doing some I'm actually I can't do more than that let's pick up one of these Can't do more than three rods. I forgot about that. I'm playing Fishing Planet too much. All right, let's sit there. That's, I think, our float rod. Maybe it's five is the... There we go. Let's see, what do we have on here? That we can, yeah, I want to put a spinner on there. That's always been a good, popular type of lure to use. These Zymans might be good, too. Let's start off with this Zyman Spiker number two. Hopefully we'll get some distance. It just so happens that the thing that turns on my recording software also shuts off the HUD <laughs> of all things figures I've run into that with a couple of my games I might have to change F9 to something else Yeah, it was right over there is where it's supposed to be really good for the trout, but I'm not sure if we're going to get get anything here. Okay, we got the friction brake. Let's see the retrieval speed. Let's take it 
24 sounds good. This should be ideal for trout. Well, nothing is biting. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I sometimes hold off on this one, because it that happens a lot in this particular game. It's like the spots keep changing. See, now it's too dark to really use lure fishing. Now, if we were going after Xander, we might be able to use some baits, but... I don't think there's Xander here, so I think I do need to eat something here. Let me see here. Yeah, we're not getting any bites at all. They used to really bite right here, but it seems like they nerfed it down quite a bit. Well, supposedly float fishing again, lure fishing is best, but at night you're kind of limited to this. Well, let me see. We weren't getting anything off the worms. Might go with a bit bigger hook. We do have some pieces of fish. Can throw it way out there in the center and see what we get. Yeah, we can put a little bit heavier sinker on here too, that might get us a little more distance. Yep, let's do that. And the Sorrento, again, let's go with a bigger hook. A little bit bigger sinker. We'll just go with the 40 gram. I don't know if we'll do pieces of fish, but we might use cottage cheese dough and see if we can't get some bream. Actually, we could probably switch that off and then put the bream thing in there. We'll see if there's anything out there bream wise. But first let's try to cast this one out. As far as it'll go, if we can get it way out there it'd be nice. Oh shoot, I forgot. I have the turn the line clip off. That way it'll cast out as far as I want. There we go. Nice. Now it's nice and deep. Lord knows what's out there. Alright, let's get the other Sorrento out. Which one was that? There it is. Same thing, I think. We're going to go ahead and... Oh yeah, we already have the classic feeder on there. Uh, we are getting a bite. Come on. That's it. Keep at it. Mm. Let's give him a little more time here. 
you know, maybe we just kind of listen, I forgot about the daggone. The clips are great, but I tell you, when you forget they're on. <laughs> We're getting a bite on that, but appears to quit. Okay, I'm gonna, what should we put on this one? Another silk series. I'm gonna put fish on this one too. We were getting bites on that one. I am curious as I'll get out what's out there. I wish that one would have come back because I have a feeling it was something good. Yeah, look at that line. There's something going after it. It's taste testing it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, whatever this is, it is big. Of course, it went for the smaller rod. <laughs> and we might be fighting this a minute. Let's see here. Come on. This might be something new, too. Something we haven't caught before. Oh, shoot, now we're getting something that's on the other one. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's just like in all the other games. When it rains, it pours. All right, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to try to see if we can't get this one. Yeah, because this rod's a little bit stronger. He's still working on the other one, too, so we're going to have to come back to that. Hopefully we won't lose it, but I think I can get this one in. At least one of them would be nice. I hate to lose both of them. Yeah, I can get up to 29, but I can't get any higher than that. This fish is seriously close. What in the world have we got here, guys? OK, 
Okay, we are getting a better visual here. I think it is a burbot. I didn't know if they had burbot here, honestly. For some reason, I'm having a hard time getting him in. Ah, nice. Personal red, the biggest fish caught. 5.944 kilograms. 2640 XP. Very nice. Yeah, let me go ahead and get a picture of that. I wish you could do a little more than that, but let me go ahead and put this back down. I'm going to see if this guy's still here. He's still here. That's probably another bourbon. But he's been on here most of the night. <laughs> okay, he seems to be coming now, though. He wore himself out. Wore his little self out here. Yep, it is another burbot. I'm not sure why my knit isn't working. <laughs> I had to drag the other one out on the shore. I got I guess I don't have it equipped or something. I don't know. I thought I did. There we go. Not as big as the last one, but three point four seven kilograms. Fifteen hundred and forty two XP points. That's not bad. We definitely got something different, that's for sure. I was not thinking that that was, they they actually have verbi here, honestly. I thought they did in the past, but they got rid of them from this map. Well, it's starting to get to be daylight, so we may not get any more bites, but I'm still going to throw these out here just to see. That definitely helped me level up a little bit. Okay, is that the one that I have with the... No, it's the one with the fish. We may still be able to get another bite, but let's... We're not getting any, anything, anything off of this one. check. Maybe you can. Records and ratings. Oh yeah, you can. I remember somebody, I thought somebody said you could. Well, let's see, for Belaya River, okay, they do have catfish as well. See, the brown trout are going for the spiker, the yellow one. And the black one, and whatever this one is. Let's see, any other trout here? And we got gibble carp, gudgeon, nace, pike, ruffy, sterlet. I would love to get a sterlet. They go for the fish as well. So there's three, at least three different ones that go for the fish. There are Xander here. Okay, that's cool. And they seem to go for the black spinner. And, of course, they go for these other baits here that I don't have access to yet. Well, I mean, we can try them. I have a feeling we're going to have to switch those up here shortly. Now, I don't know if the sterlet bite more in the daytime or the nighttime, but I'm going to leave them out there for a while just to see. All right, let's go back to our spin 
casting rod. Uh, well, I have this one, and I have this one. Well, they're definitely worth a try. All right, we're going. What we're going to do is we're going to try them in different locations to start off with. I know I was getting some trout over this direction. It is morning, so they should be biting at this time. The brown trout would be nice to get. There we go. Okay, that's a good sign. Of course, it could just be a perch. No, we got something else. Let's see. That's a grayling. Yeah, it's a mark grayling. Yeah, I think I'm going to cast with this yellow one for a little while, and then I'll try the black one. They're supposed to be going for both of them, so... Whew, I current something else. Hey, we're getting another bite. Okay, this is different. Whatever this is, this is different. Oh, I think we lost it. Yep, we lost it. Probably should let it take it a little bit better. But it could have been a sterlet for all we know. Throw that back out there because I... And we're just getting enough bites off of these to where it's manageable at the same time while we're spin casting. You don't want it going too crazy. It seems like whatever these, at least with the grayling, they like a steady reel. I mean, for you reel it in nice and steady, but I'm going to turn that to speed a little bit. I think I'm just going to keep casting and kind of hope for the best. <laughs> the only thing is getting later in the day, usually the bite, well, maybe not for the perch, but the bite rate for the trout do go down. Yeah, I just can't get over how much detail there is with the perch now. Really looks nice. There we go, we got a little something there. Probably another perch. It's about the only thing that seems to bite in the mid afternoon. There we go. Now yeah, we're getting some bites. Even if they're just perch, it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, I switched over to this Aquila. And this actually might be a Hefty perch. Let me see here. Yeah, I think he's a good size one. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, look how much different they look. Yeah, 
Yeah, the perch is basically your bread and butter fish here. This is where you... Okay, now we're getting some bites here. Uh, I think it's perch, but still, every little bit helps. Maybe I ran to a school. If you get enough of them, you can sometimes complete some of those orders through the cafe. And get a little more than you would just get from them in and of themselves. I thought maybe it was a chub at first. Another check mark grayling. Yeah, it seems like right around noon. There we go. Everything slows down considerably. And then it picks up right about 6 p.m. Looks like we're going to be pulling in some grayling here. He's not check mark, so he won't be worth much. There we go. I think it's another grayling. Yep. They seem to be the fish of the day as usual. strong. Yeah, when I used to play this a couple of years ago, you threw it out here, you got trout almost every time. That seems to have changed pretty much the grayling I've taken over. Now i got to find out where the trout are located, and it's not here. There we go. Okay, now we've got something substantial. At the same time, we got a bite on one of the bottom rods. That sounds about right. Okay. This might be a pike, just by the way it's fighting. He's going to take out a bunch of my line. Hope he didn't take out too much. I don't know if I'm gaining or he's gaining at this point.
like it's right on the fringe there. Okay, I'm gaining a little bit. Of course, he could just be swimming towards me, too. Uh, he's taking it off with it. Come on. Okay, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a real fight, guys. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Yeah, there for a while I thought he was going to spool me. I'm not still 100% convinced he's not going to spool me, but... Gained some ground this time, guys. Just gonna keep at him. Yeah, I'm definitely gaining some ground. I think I've I've got him. I've got him. Okay, he's not much liking this. Why am I not picking him up? There he is. It's an asp. 1.355 kilograms. That's not bad. Not bad at all. He was fighting like he was a lot bigger than that, though. 762 XP points. So a total of 1,143 XP points. I got an extra bonus for getting him on light tackle. Yeah, we didn't get anything off of this one. But I think it's about time we call this, guys. We're going to need to go over there and see what we can get cash-wise. That's the first asp that I've caught here. So we got burbot out there. We've got apparently catfish and sterlet, but haven't run into them yet. We may have to go to another portion of this island to get those. But I think we can. Let me see if we've met any order requirements. I didn't check before because I wasn't really planning on doing that at the moment. Let's see. There's the cafe. Uh, they wanted six perch, and we got six perch. Perfect. That'll give us 11. 0.92 silver. Uh, let's see, a chub. They want three pieces. We have one chub that fits that category, but not the other two. Brown trout from three kilograms. Of course, we didn't get that. Or Xander. No Xander yet. That's one we haven't caught yet. I'm not sure we have the, the gear to catch it just yet. Well, let's see if we can... Is this the market? Yeah. Let's see what we got for our fish here. Whoa. Oh, man. Let's see, the asp was 5.43 silver. The grayling was 2.57 for that one, 5.33 for that one, 2.65 for that one. And the burbot, 20.13 silver. And the other one was 11.75 silver. That's. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's very good, actually. Five point. That's my biggest fish or heaviest fish so far. That I broke a record on that one. Forty-seven point nine seven silver plus the other eleven. That's over 
What is it? 60? It's not bad. Yeah, closer to 60. There we go. Alright. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We caught some new species that we've caught from not caught from here before. The asp and the burbot. Didn't do too bad. Need to do a little bit better. That's for darn sure. We need to get some serious cash to get some better gear. That's for darn sure. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. Hopefully it won't take me too much longer to do it, but I'm going to try a few things to see if it might help me, gain me an advantage here. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.